This weighs 10 million pounds. Once everything is ready, all that equipment I need will come out of there. The machine will go underneath, pick this whole thing up, carry it over, put it inside the vehicle assembly building. Now under the, uh, this side of the building, there are three bay, uh, two bays, bay one and bay three. Bay three is the one with the doors open. That's where that unit will go, in that bay. The rocket will come from New Orleans. The rest of the boosters will come from Utah. Everything will be stacked in there. Sometime the end of next year, that unit is supposed to come out of that bay and go into the launch pad for the first test flight to go around the moon. Now, NASA says we may put two astronauts on board. We may. But 2020, they want to land it on the moon. In 2030, land on Mars. And children today from the age of 6 to 16 would be the future astronauts of the Mars. The big doors, the bottom one you see goes sideways, the other seven telescope behind each other all the way up to the roof. It takes 45 minutes to get them open. Down on the right hand corner of the building, there's a pickup truck down there. Look behind there, and you can see that's an employee's door. That's an eight foot employee's door. Give you an idea how big these doors are. Uh, if you look in between the big gray doors, you'll see three doors. Those are eight foot employee's doors. Give you an idea how big those are. top ones are. <coughs> that's your fine rooms right there with the black windows. There's four up there. And if you'd have been here 60 years ago, folks, you wouldn't have been in a bus. You'd have had to been in a boat. This was swampland. This road out on the right was special built for those machines to travel on. 